Hi guys, today I'm going to give a step-by-step -step guide for new startups and how to grow a startup from scratch. In the age of technology and innovation, the world has become more connected than ever before. This has led to an increase in entrepreneurship and startups. In fact, there are currently over 3 million startups in the United States alone. But what makes a startup? It's not just about having a good idea and then going out and getting it done, it's about creating something that helps people solve their problems or make them happy. We've all heard stories about people who started businesses from their garage or basement and look back on that experience with fond memories. But what if you could do it yourself? What if you could start your own business from scratch, with minimal investment and zero debt? What if even if you didn't know where to begin, someone could show you exactly how? And wouldn't that be amazing? That's why we created this startup tutorial, a step-by-step -step guide for new startups, full documentary, how to grow a startup from scratch. Want every entrepreneur out there to know that they can take control of their own destiny and create something amazing. We've all been there. You have an idea for a startup, but you don't know where to start or what to do. Well, we're here to tell you that it's not as hard as it seems. In fact, with our step-by-step -step guide for new startups, you'll be able to grow your startup from scratch in no time. Growing a startup from scratch is hard. Trust us, we've been there. But there are ways to help you along the way, and today, we're going to share them with you. If you're starting your own business and want to do it right, then this is the perfect guide for you. It's full of practical advice on how to grow a startup from scratch using easy-to-follow steps that anyone can follow. It's written by one of our secret friends, he has been working as an entrepreneur for many years now and knows exactly what it takes to make sure your startup gets off the ground successfully. He has helped many people achieve their dreams of being successful entrepreneurs, so he knows what works. Now he wants to share his knowledge with you by writing this book on how to grow a startup from scratch using easy-to-follow steps that anyone can follow. First you've decided to take the next step in your journey as a business owner. You want to start a new venture and are ready to follow in the footsteps of successful entrepreneurs. But how? Are there any shortcuts or tips that will help you make it through the first few months or even years of your startup? There are many ways that can help you start your own business and grow it into something big. You don't need to be an expert in everything, just know where to look for help. In this video, we'll learn how to build a startup from scratch. We'll cover the difference between a startup and a company, how to find the right people for your project, the many pitfalls of starting an actual business. Okay, so let's get started. 1. The difference between a startup and a company. Startups are new businesses that are still under development. They are usually small, young companies that are in their very early phases of growth and development. They may be seeking funding, or they may have already received some funding and need more money to expand their operations. Companies on the other hand, have been around for a while already and have already established themselves as legitimate entities within their respective industries. Companies have gone through years of research, development, testing, and refining before they become profitable enterprises which means they have already made it through the hard part of starting up. If you're starting a new business, the first step is to make a list of what it is you want to do. Then, when you've got an idea of what that is, it's time to find the right people for your project. The key here is knowing what kinds of skills people have and being able to identify those who come with them. This way you'll know if they're right for your project or not, and if they aren't, move on. First off, when it comes to finding people with the right skill set, be sure to check out their LinkedIn profile or other social media accounts. This will let you see how long they've been in the industry and what their experience level is like. But don't just rely on these things, you should also take the time to get to know them personally before hiring them or not. Do some research about their background on Google and ask questions about why they got into their field, what they like about it, and so on. This will give you a much better sense of what kind of person they are and whether or not they'd be a good fit for your team. If you're thinking about starting a business, here are some things that could go wrong. 1. You may lose money. 2. You may have to work hard. 3. You may have to be your own boss. 4. You might not get what you want out of it at all. 5. Or maybe they'll make you rich. We all know the feeling. You've got an idea for a business that you just can't stop thinking about, and you want to make it happen, but there are so many hurdles. Maybe you don't have a lot of money or a solid plan for how to get started. 
Maybe your idea is a little bit different from what everyone else is doing in your industry and that makes it difficult to find support. Or maybe you're even worried about how much work it will be for yourself and your family if you go through with this crazy idea. It's okay if all those things are true for you right now. We get it, it's hard to take risks when you don't have everything figured out yet. But we also want to let you know that starting your own business can be done and done well. But, if you've ever dreamed of starting your own business, but don't know where to begin, you're not alone. A recent report from the Small Business Administration SBA, shows that more than half of all entrepreneurs in the United States are self-employed. While this is a good thing, there are some definite pitfalls to starting your own business. Here are three common ones. 1. You'll be constantly stressed out. 2. You'll have trouble making decisions. 3. You might get sued. For know your numbers, a lot of businesses fail because they don't have enough money to start. And if you don't know how much you need, then you won't be able to get the funding you need. So start by figuring out how much money you need for your business before you even begin building anything. 5. Plan ahead. When planning out your budget and costs, make sure that there are no hidden fees or taxes that might come up later on down the road. Also make sure that your plan has contingencies in place should something unexpected happen like a natural disaster or illness impacting your ability to continue operating at full capacity, which could result in lost revenue. If you're a young businessman, there are some things you can do to make sure your company is successful. Learn the basics of accounting and finance. It's important to know how to keep track of your finances and make sure they're not being abused by your employees. Determine how many employees you need and how many will be required to run your business. Determine how much space will be needed for each employee, as well as any other facilities needed for their work environment. Make sure you have a good relationship with your customers and clients. This means listening to them, understanding their needs, and making sure you're meeting them at their level, not yours. Now I'll give you some tips and tricks for young businessmen. 1. Don't try to be someone you're not. We've all been there. You know, the guy who's so confident in his skills that he thinks he can do anything, even if it makes no sense. It doesn't have to be like this. Be yourself, you'll get further faster by just being honest and authentic with yourself and the people around you. 2. Don't take yourself too seriously, but don't let others take themselves too lightly either. Know when to joke around with your friends and when to keep your cool and get serious about what matters most, your work. 3. Be patient with yourself as well as others, it takes time for things to develop in any industry or field of study. It's not always easy, but it will pay off in the long run by allowing opportunity to present itself organically rather than forcing something onto people or situations at hand, like how many people are looking for something new right now or where there's room for growth within an existing field. The secret to success is a lot of hard work, but there are some things you can do to make that work easier. First, remember that it's not just about getting what you want. It's about making sure that the people around you are happy and satisfied with the way you're doing things. This means you need to be willing to change, adapt, and learn on the fly. Second, don't be afraid to ask for help from others, especially from your employees. There's no shame in having a mentor or two who will help you with your career goals and offer guidance along the way. Third, always remember that what matters most is how well you treat other people, even if they don't deserve it at first glance, like when they take too long getting out of their car. You should also make sure that everyone has access to resources like transportation or housing so they can get things done without worrying about anything else in life outside of work as much as possible. Okay, that's all for now. Online Storytime, out.